Hey, what's up guys? This is Theo from Fino Concept. So today I'm going to show you how to secretly copy or steal files from someone's computer onto a flash drive. So let's get started. Welcome to Fino Concept. Click the subscribe button and hit the bell icon so you don't miss out on any of our future videos. Now the tool we are going to be using for this is just Microsoft Notepad. So I'll go ahead and just open my app, um, NOT. Okay. Now I already have um, the list of codes I'm going to be using. So uh, I'll leave a link in the description below so that you can also um, download this and use it for whatever it is you want to use it for. So I'll go ahead and copy the first part, which is under one, and I'll paste it in here. You can always change the icon of the of this particular um, notepad we are going to save. We are actually going to save it as, let's just save it first so that I, I talk whilst we are doing it. So we are going to save it as autorun.inf and I'll save this onto my desktop. Now you can change the icon of this. You can make it look um, gaming or you can make it look like a software so that the victim is likely to click on it. So that makes it a lot easier. The next thing is action is equal to click to run. Now this is optional too, but sometimes when the auto run launches, it may ask the user what to open, depending on what you put in there. So the user will be instructed to click OK and run this file. But what if the user clicks cancel? Now that's what this code is for. So if the user also clicks cancel, this code is going to execute this action no matter what you do. So um, for the first part, I think we are done. So I'll go ahead and open a new one. So I'll create a new notepad and I'll paste in the second code. So I'll copy the entire code here. I'll go to notepad and I'll paste it in here. Now, the reason for doing this is um, we want to copy the files from one destination onto our flash drive. So you can see that for the first set of commands, this is going to be picking the command where we'll be copying our files from the user's profile and which user profile, the pictures, we want the favorites, we want the videos. You can add desktop, you can add their downloads and all of that. And it's going to put it on our flash drive in a folder called all and in another folder called my pics. So if it copies from the pictures, it's going to all and it's going to another folder called my pics. Now, if you go ahead and change this, so I'll just quickly change this to um, probably Theo. And you know what? Let's just work with uh, videos for this one. The reason why I want to choose videos is here. If if I go to you no know, this piece, this PC, and I click on videos, you can see I have just um, a short list of videos. But for my pictures, I have a whole bunch of pictures. So let's just work with videos. So I'll go ahead and delete all of this up just to show you. So um, it will copy from the videos and it's going to put it on a drive. And the videos are going to be in a folder called Theo in a folder called Vit. So we'll go ahead and save this also up. Now we'll save this file as file.bat. So this is a batch file. This file is actually going to be doing all the copying so make sure that you get the name right so i'll save this up now for the third part i'll go ahead and copy the code so let's just copy this out and we'll create a new document so file new and i'll paste it in here now what this does is because we are going to be copying um the files from uh, the victim's computer a command prompt is actually going to show and the user may see that we are copying his or her files. So you see copy from this to that. If you've ever used command prompt, um, you probably know what I'm talking about. Now, what this file does is to prevent that. So it's going to make the command prompt invisible for whoever is looking at it. So um, all the codes that are going to be running on the command prompt, copying the files onto the drive, will be invisible so it's more or less like it's minimized and at the same time it's not shown on the tax bar so we'll go ahead and save this as invisible.vbs 
Okay, so let's just create the last one. So I'll open my Word document and I'll copy the last one. And I'll paste it in here. Now for the <coughs> last part, this particular note part does two things. It looks for the invisible.vps file we just created from the flash drive. So we are going to copy all this information onto our flash drive. And the second thing is it's going to load the file.bat, which is the file going to copy all the information. So you can see it's going to read the invisible.vbs and at the same time read the file execute file.bat. So we'll go ahead and save this up as um let's call it lunch because it's going to be launching the application. So launch.bat. Now, once you are done with all of this, I'll just go to my desktop and I'll copy this information onto my flash drive. So let's just slot in the flash drive. Okay, so um, you can see my flash drive is empty. It doesn't have to be empty though, but I want to be able to copy all the files. Um, for, I just formatted it. So I'll copy it onto the flash drive and we can see all the information are there. Now let's test run this to see if it is working. So I'm going to click on launch.bat and the files have started copying. So you can see Theo folder just um, was just created and the files are copying. Now just to show you if we didn't create the um, invisible.vbs you would be able to see all the codes running in the background but because we created it you can't even see that the files are being copied so we are expecting um three videos well we are expecting four videos including this one so you can see it has copied all of them if you just want to see it one more time i'll go back to my computer i'll go to this and you can see that it has created the um the folder copying all the files so um basically that's it if you want to do more you can always go back to um, file.bat you edit it in here then you add in um, more codes like copying from pictures so now you have to make sure that this is all right so pictures and you create a folder for it so let's just call this um, pics now notice this time around i'm going to change the name so i'll change the name to probably all and I'll go ahead and save this. So if I double click on launch.bat, we are expecting another folder called all. So let's just refresh the page. This really took a while. So this is working guys. Thank you so much for watching. If you like this video, give it a thumbs up. If you like to watch more of our videos, don't forget to subscribe to our channel. And as always, don't forget to share with your friends.